God damn, that's good weed. That is good weed. That is good weed. I heard there's buzz already for a sequel. What's the story? <laughs> we've, we've started it like Since an hour lunch. ago. <laughs> yeah, we, it's buzz. We started at lunch today. Uh, I don't know. We'd like to honestly. Like, I mean, until the movie opens, they probably won't. This is how it. sequels get made, though, right? Oh yeah, we just uh, we just got pitched for. Uh, yeah, exactly. Sequel. We should just start saying it like it's gonna happen, and the studio will have to do it. Then. Yeah. So yeah, we're Put gonna do a sequel. Position. Yeah, we're really excited about it. It's gonna be it's awesome. Be yeah. yeah, twice the laughs, twice, twice the fun, twice the action, yeah. twice the weed. Twice yeah. the uh, the day with Lanos. Twice the day with Lanos. Yeah, yes. bigger one, bigger day with Lanos. Yeah. yeah, I think you guys set a the day record. With Sequoia, is that Sequoia? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys set the record. Probably the only film that ever made the day with Lanos look reasonably cool. Yeah, it makes. It, I feel like sales will spike. Yeah, after, they should uh, when they see what you can do with them. Yeah, you, know, you can save your friends. You can. I, I don't know if that color that it is in the movie is a real like. I don't know if that's a stock color. I wonder yeah. if it is. If it, if it if it isn't, it should be dubbed the pineapple. Exactly. Exactly, the yeah. Pineapple Express edition day we love yeah. A shipment of Pineapple Express. The dopest dope I've ever smoked. Hey. Smell it. Finally, you see Miami Vice, because um, the score of the movie in particular was, the mandate was to do if Pink Floyd scored a Miami Vice episode. And uh, that was like, the, it's all like weird synthesizer <laughs> music. Kind of sounds like Tangerine Dream did it. Uh, it's very early Michael Mann. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, th those movies I love, you know, those kind of weird 80s, like, character action movies, <laughs> Manhunter and shit like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, that was definitely uh, kind of the feel we were going Yeah, it's the most fun ever. There was like a week straight when we were shooting kind of the big finale of the movie where like, all I did every day for 12 hours was shoot a machine gun. And it was <laughs> the greatest fucking thing ever like literally they'd be like okay we're gonna get shooting Seth get your machine gun and be like, okay. <laughs> and like, Action. and it was it was the greatest thing ever I, I've, I've never had more fun to a sequel yeah exactly more wires get rocket launch tanks yeah. and shit yeah I love that hell Huey's Apaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like God's vagina. How many oddball interview requests from Pot Smoker Weekly and Hydro Monthly have you gotten so far for this? You know what's funny, and this is perfect, is we actually could not even get High Times Magazine to come to the set of the movie. Like they, they literally like don't return their phone calls. <laughs> Somebody, somebody's and, just getting the yeah, message they, now. Yeah, exactly. There's like, dude, we gotta go to Santa Pineapple Express. Oh, man, it was like a week ago. Yeah. Like we tried to, honestly. Yeah, we were like, we'll get all the pop magazines, and then like shockingly, they're they're not quite as on top of their shit as you would hope they would be. <laughs> what was the injury count like by the end? Because it was pretty ridiculous looking. Somebody surely lost an eye. Yeah. Uh, Danny got his head cracked open. Yeah, that bong good. hit. I took the bong mitzvah when yeah. Franco hit me with it. It, it uh, he it, took yeah, that. It did a deal. Yeah. It was that was sugar glass though, right? It was it, candy glass, but it, this much candy glass with and when water filled in with there, water also that adds a lot of a little, weight to it. Puts a little it. weight to the deal. Yeah. yeah. So when you're recoiling, you're just going, "Damn, that actually really, yeah, really goes, hurt." Oh. Which I had, a, I kind of had a feeling that it probably was going to hurt a little. And with that, it's just like that'll be funny. I yeah. mean, if I look like an idiot and I'm hurt for real, that will. Yeah, That'll Franco okay. got the worst injury. He like cracked his. There's that scene where we're running through the woods and he like runs into the tree and he like fucking smoked his head on that tree <laughs> and like he needed stitches in his head. And you see like he wears a headband for a bunch of the movie and that's literally to cover the stitches he has in his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> were you guys just laughing him the whole time? Uh, yeah, I mean that night it was not funny at all. Like it was so fucked up. Like he was so pissed off because the stunt man kind of fucked up a little and. Um. Uh, <laughs> And there was just blood like pouring down his face. I remember he's just like, "It's bad, isn't it?" We're just like, "Oh, it's not great, dude." <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's face. <laughs> yeah. Does he get cash insurance on that or something? Does he insure his face? I, I, I would if I was Frank. Yeah. Oh shit! It's a smart but, idea. Uh, yeah, I don't know if he did that. Shit, I can't see. Well, kick out the window. Isn't that what they do? Oh. And they got pulled by Croy. Get your foot out of there. Oh shit! Yeah.